Here's a story more shocking than finding out there's a serial killer elephant named Osama bin Laden. So the U.S. Supreme Court just got caught with a clear example of corruption. Yes. Similar to looking through a virgin's incognito mode, the story's going to go from bad to worse. So there's a charity organization called the Supreme Court Historical Society. Now... The alleged mission statement of this charity is to preserve the court's history and educate the public about the court's importance of America, but that's not necessarily true. Now, before I get to the point, as a really quick background, the charity is worth $23 million, and because it's considered a nonprofit, it doesn't have to publicly disclose donors. Now, let me wrap all of this together. As a disclosure, you better brace for impact like a virgin getting backed up on a dance floor. So, the charity organization had 60% of its donations come from corporations, special interest groups, or lawyers and firms that argued case before the court. So, what that means is essentially the people who are donating to the organization has a direct stake in the court cases that the Supreme Court is arguing for. Let me give you an example. Chevron gave to the organization, and Chevron also had been involved in a 2021 court case involving efforts by cities to hold the oil company accountable for its role in global warming. Also, other organizations that were involved in court cases include Tyson Foods and the Republic of China, but this gets worse. At this point in time, you might be wondering, gosh, diggly darn it, Zach, how does this affect the Supreme Court justices? Well, I have a two-part answer for you. So number one, some of the Supreme Court justices, such as Brett Kavanaugh, were reportedly seen at parties with political figures and individuals who are internationally accused of human rights abuses, such as, I don't know if I can point, but you see, uh, you see this guy right over here, right there? His name is Eric Prince. Eric Prince owns an organization that was originally called Blackwater Worldwide. It was a contracting military service that was prosecuted and convicted of multiple criminal acts committed during the massacre of Nisor Square, I'm going to butcher that name, in Baghdad in 2007, which left 14 unarmed civilians dead and at least 17 wounded. Now to tie everything together like a present from Satan, there's a nonprofit organization called the Supreme Court Historical Society. They take $23 million from individuals who have a direct stake in the court cases that the Supreme Court determines. All of which tie into my final point, which is that we do not know what types of favors or how much money the Supreme Court justices are receiving. For example, if there's $23 million and there's only one Christmas party, then what is the rest of the money going to? Why is Chevron and Eric Prince for Blackwater donating to an organization that has to do with Supreme Court justices? What could Supreme Court justices, human rights abusers, and Republican politicians all have in common? These are the questions that we need to continually ask. If you want the algorithm to boost this video and increase more views and increase more awareness, please like and comment. Thank you.